Hello guys, it's Behesh's decennial celebration. Ten years begin today. We had the educators Behesh today, and now I'm reaching Indrapuram Public School to open the decennial round. There's 145 debaters waiting for us. Let's go. fun today to participate in the educators debate organized by Behes. Reminded me of childhood where I used to be a regular debater for school and uh, college. Many congratulations to Behes and the team for such amazing work which they are doing in inculcating critical thinking skills amongst uh, the young learners today. All the best. Thanks. We are in Lucknow, which is one of the culinary capitals of India. We are in Chowk, which is one of the oldest known settlements in North India. And today we are going to try a real gem of the cuisine, the Galavati Kebab. Galavati basically translates to melt in the mouth. And the most famous place for Galavati Kebab in India, some say overrated, but I don't think so is the original Tunde Kababi in the Chalk area of Lucknow, which is where we are today. Funny story about Galavati Kabab is that the Nawab of Lucknow, Wajid Ali Shah, was getting really old and he really loved meat. And that is what led to the invention of these melt-in-the-mouth kebabs. The secret that makes them this soft papaya mixed in with the meat to give it that reshmi texture. And this is the most delicious thing anyone in North India has ever come up with. Kebabs have a long history, as we've discussed before. Uh, soldiers used to prop them up uh, on pieces of meat on their swords and grill them over fires during war. A lot of people say that this is where the first kebabs came from. This Galavati kebab is, of course, a culinary invention peculiar to India and peculiar to old people. And don't make fun of Nawab Bajit Ali Shah. I think I'm going to be exactly like him with no teeth and a real fondness for meat in about 30 years time. Very popular delight 
for Only because residents uh, of Raja Madhuri. I don't know why, but everywhere there are shops like this. Here the land is very fertile, so they can grow crops three times in a year. Even rice and sugar. Today we are going to Banaras. The boys are coming from Andhra Pradesh and they are going to join us here. I am at Lucknow Junction. I couldn't go to the Andhra Pradesh boot camp because of some health stuff. Uska vlog agli baar aega. Yeah. Guys, I've reached Guwahati, Assam for a meeting, but I look like this. So what we're gonna try and do is get a haircut at a local shop so that we get the gig that we want. Wish me luck.